welcome to Chelsea's Facebook chat. We're here in Seattle. I've got a fantastic view behind me and I'm delighted to be joined by John McKellow. John McKellow, lovely to have you here. Thank you very much. First question has to be, how are you enjoying America and Seattle? <laughs> I think it's been fun. I think it's been, uh, I think it's been really fun. I think we, uh, you know, we've come out here with the aim of um, working really hard. Yeah. Um, you know, it's not all about having fun. Having fun. It's all about working really hard and I think uh, Everyone in the team has been working very hard. I think the the manager has been, um, you know, the training has been going well, yeah. and uh, we seem to be enjoying it. Yeah. We've been working very hard. First game yesterday, uh, it was good. Um, legs felt really fresh. <laughs> Didn't feel heavy like before it was going to be, but um, yeah, I think we're enjoying it. How's the jet lag? Do you get jet lag? I uh, I never do, but actually, I I did get one this time around. I don't know why, <laughs> but um, it is something that. Uh, Hopefully, maybe we get to New York and then uh, uh, the other places. You know, it will, yeah. it will, it will, it will get better. You're but gonna I still, be, you're going to be playing at the Yankee Stadium. It is the first soccer match ever to be played at the Yankee Stadium. Wow, that's an honor. I mean, I'm very pleased to, <laughs> I'm very pleased to be one of the players who are going to play there first. Uh, and you know, it just shows uh, how much this club is growing, how much uh, you know the success we're having. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we just want to keep going and keep doing well and keep winning trophies. Now, one thing I have to ask you about, and I was really sad when I read this, when I saw on the Chelsea website that we said a fond farewell to Salomon Kalou. Now, for people that don't know, you were like husband and wife. <laughs> it was unbelievable. You two were always causing trouble at Cobham. You were mischievous, you were together and you were smiling. Mr and Mrs, how is life post Salah? Very I'm, hard. It's tough. Very tough. <laughs> actually, no, it is actually very tough. Yeah. I'm not joking. Um, someone you've been with since you've been in this club, yeah. you know, you've yeah. been with him for six, six years, seven years now, and uh, we actually decided to live a, a little bit more closer to each other. So. Oh, I'm gonna just get emotional. <laughs> I know, I know. He's been calling me since I'm mean, out here. You know, it's it's been it's been quite tough yeah. to 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 know that Salah is not there anymore in the dressing room or or in the pitch or. Yeah. Someone that I actually talk to more about. We talk to each other about our games yeah, more, yeah, uh, yeah. about our game and what, what what is happening in the team, what we need to improve in and stuff. And to not have someone like that uh, is it's kind of really sad. But it means that you're actually causing more mischief by yourself. And something I have to ask you about, and you know the tradition here of the new boys, they come, or new girls, and they have to sing a song in front of the whole team. They have to stand on a chair, everyone has to do it. Yeah. The other night they were going around and, and Kevin, Kevin De Bruyne stood up. I'm not sure what he sang or did. Yeah, yeah. And then someone whispered to Billy, who orchestrates it all, <laughs> get Gigi up there. <laughs> Can you explain that? <laughs> I don't know, it wasn't me. <laughs> witnesses to say it was McKelly said get get Shiji up on stage <laughs> firstly I've done it been here a long time so I don't know that How could you I've do been that? here seven years now I've never seen you sing that's why I thought you haven't done it but you said you've done it in the like what 12 years ago I so I can't believe you tried to stitch me up with that <laughs> <laughs> well there's no reason doing it a second time you know no well, you're not going to do it a second, no, a second time you're never going to hear me sing the guys who've been here 12 years ago they've all left this is a new team you know Kevin De Bruyne haven't I'm seen you sing it. so you need to you I'm know. not doing it again. Why not? Never gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> now, something that you're having to get used to is Twitter. Yeah. I know that you've been forced to open a Twitter account. Yeah. But I've just heard you've got something like 18,000 I know. What have you been tweeting? I haven't tweeted anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I haven't actually. I think I tweeted yesterday after the game. I said it was a good game. Yeah. Uh, good, good, uh, good win. First game of the season. Good win. <laughs> and actually, I got about 18,000. People, I think it just shows how much uh, people appreciate what you do. Yeah. I mean, it's not everyone in there is gonna love you. It's not everyone in there is gonna like what you do. You know, there's people out in in your followers who are gonna be there to criticize you. But it's something yeah. that I have to try to understand and get on with. It's gonna become addictive. You're gonna be tweeting everything. <laughs> we'll know everywhere you are. And and Salas, Kalu's on Twitter, yeah. and he's yeah. always tweeting. I know. We'll that, stay in touch. Yeah, me and him we're gonna stay in touch. What? He still comes to London every time, every day, yeah. and he still comes to my house to pick up some food and stuff. So. <laughs> You're like a married couple. Now, this is all about Chelsea fans contacting you via Facebook. So we've got some questions, yeah. so I'm going to get straight into this. Um, Easy Collins says, Mikel, are you still hoping to score again for Chelsea one day? <laughs> I knew that was question was going to come up. <laughs> that question always comes up. It yeah, always comes up. Well, I think... Um, <laughs> I think 
team is more important than than, uh, than me. I think it's something that I have to improve on. I think it's something that yeah. I need to uh, I need to start scoring again. But yeah. who knows when? But um, <laughs> as long as the team keeps uh, keeps winning, keeps winning trophies, uh, I'm really pleased with it. If that comes, if yeah. my goals comes, uh, then that's a bonus for me, and I'm really pleased with that. You got into a good position against the Seattle Sanders, and we thought you were going to score in this. Yeah, but it didn't come. No. Yeah, it didn't come to me like. <laughs> It didn't come back, the, the, back, the pass didn't come back to me. I was like, I was going to slide in there. But, um, yeah, hopefully one day. It's only pre-season, there's still time. <laughs> now, Nicholas Mav said, who were your role models when you were growing up? I think when I was growing up, my role model was, was actually Zidane and Patrick Vieira. But now that I've grown up, uh, my new role model is um, someone that I really look up to and what is achieved in sport is Roger Federer. Tennis player. Amazing. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. What is what is achieving? It, it keeps one. It still keeps yeah. one to win and still want to win trophies. And even when people write him off, he still. No, I agree. Absolutely yeah. phenomenal. Nikki Larson says, "Is London your favourite city? And if not, where is your favourite city?" Do you like uh, London? I, I love London. I, I like love it. London. I love London. I like. I like to live in London for the uh, you know for the rest of my life. Yeah. I like to stay here even when I finish playing football. But um, you know, I like to go explore other places. Uh, yeah. I like. I like. I like Germany. I like Munich. Yeah. Uh, I bet you really like Munich now. <laughs> <laughs> I like, uh, yeah, I like Munich. I think it's a good city uh, in uh, America as well. Grant Christensen says, Mikel, will you give Czech a cooking rematch? I won that one, actually. I won the first one. Yeah, but you, are you going to give point, him a chance? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that the judge mis miscounted the point. It's supposed to be my, on my favor, but he gave it to Peter Czech anyway. So he actually won, but you're saying you won? Yeah, I won. But he won. Officially, did he win? Yeah, officially, but oh, they cheated. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. So, is it going to be a rematch? So, it can be sort of who's better at cooking? I think it is. What's your signature dish? What's the one dish that you like to cook? Trying to impress someone. What would, <laughs> what would you make? You can't say takeaway. What would you make? <laughs> I don't know. Nothing really. <laughs> well, I can make spaghetti. I can make spaghetti. You can make spaghetti. I can make spaghetti. Oh, I'm not sure who you're going to impress with spaghetti. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, Owen Michael St. John said, who did you support when you were growing up? What was your team? Arsenal. Arsenal? Because was it the first team you saw or it was something about them you liked? Or a because we had, uh, we had Canoe playing for Arsenal then. So Canoe was someone, uh, you know, he was doing really well then for, you know, as a Nigerian player, doing really well for Arsenal. So uh, a lot of Nigerians were supporting Arsenal then. So, yeah. Okay. But now you're a Chelsea fan? Yeah. Good. Uh, Marcus <laughs> Gordon has asked, is Frank Lampard the best Chelsea player ever? In wow. terms of what he's contributed to the team, unbelievable. Yeah, very good player, very fantastic guy. Um, in outside the football pitch, you know, I'm uh, you know I'm pleased to have uh, played with him, to yep. still play with him. You know, he's uh, he's such a he's such a legend for Chelsea. You know, he's done it all. He scores goals. You know. Yep. You know, he does his job, he goes yeah. about his job every day and um, very professional uh, person, you know. I'm very pleased to have worked with him and played with him and uh, I've learned a lot from him as well. You know, he's one that always trying to support the young players as well, speak to the young players, encourage the young players. Yep. And I think he's done a lot to me in my game as well. So I think he should be up there with one of the greatest players for, uh, for Chelsea. So next stop for us is New York. Are you looking forward to getting to the Big Apple? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it and uh, hopefully uh, when we're out there, we can do something a little bit more fun. Well, you're uh, going to do some tweeting, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when we speak in New York, you've got to have doubled that total. I think so, hopefully, okay. because challenge. there's lots of people telling me to, to, to add them on Twitter. I haven't even seen my Twitter page yet, but I think I've seen it yesterday, but oh, I haven't dear. really got into it. But uh, <laughs> I think with time, I will. I will okay, go. we're going to get that sorted. Mikel, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very thank much you very for joining much. us. Thank you. You'll be watching thank Chelsea's you. Facebook chat. Thank you so much for your questions, and we'll see you again sometime soon. Thank you. Welcome back to part two of Chelsea's Facebook chat. Now, we've heard from Mikel. We've put your questions to him. Now, I'm delighted to be joined still in Seattle with this fabulous location of view behind us by Romelu Lukaku. Romelu, lovely to have you here. Thank you. What have you made of America so far? Settling in nicely? Yeah, sure. Yeah? A bit, um, I've, um, 
The jet lag is still there. I was think. that bad? Did you get it quite bad? Yeah. Yeah. Really bad. Okay. I woke up three times <laughs> each night. Even the day before the game, I was struggling. Really? Yeah. I woke up at three. Woke up at five. And at six, and then I called my mum's up to ask her. Well, maybe it's because you were so excited about the match that night, you just kept waking up. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, we prefer to have a good sleep and then be awake. But like, it's all right. Well, I tell you, it didn't look like you hadn't slept when you played against the Seattle Sounders. Yeah, it was good. It was going very well, you know. I was well prepared for the game, the yeah. team as well, so we did well. You must have been delighted with your goals. Yeah, very delighted, you know. After last year, to, to keep on going, in a positive way that I left uh, the last two games yeah. in the season, it was very good for me, yeah. Because this is such an important time of the season. It's about preparing, it's about getting your fitness level sorted out, but it's also a chance for Robbie to look at you all, to see who works well with who and what is better. And so you're there going, look at me, look at me, I'm really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just want to do my best for the team, you know. Uh, after last year, uh, you know, where I had a good year, yeah. I learned a lot of things from uh, for the other strikers and also from for the players that are important for the club. Yeah. And uh, this preseason is going well for me, so I'm very happy. And uh, I want to keep on going like that, but the main important thing is the team. The team has yeah. to keep on winning like what we're doing at the end of the season. Well, I have to say, I'm hearing a lot of French being spoken because you've been joined by your Belgian buddies. Yeah. We've got a little group going on there. No, it's not <laughs> a little group. Everybody's, I think the, most of the team in here is French. Yeah, I know some players, I can I can see some players understand, I think Lamps understands French very well. Yeah, and Petter obviously, yeah. playing in France. Yeah, Petter as well, Ash as well, because he plays in Arsenal. Yeah, Ash no, understands some come on. words. Are you telling I me Ash so. speaks French? He understands some words, he because, understands yeah, from French. Arsenal, I think they were speaking a lot of Are French sure? over there. I we're think gonna, so. I think we're going to have to test that, I'm not sure about that. I we're so. going to test that one out. <laughs> I think Ash understands a bit of French, but you know, I speak, we speak English more of the time, because Eden is... English is horrible, <laughs> horrible, horrible. Kevin is English is very well because he's half English. Yeah. So his English is very well, but Eden is a problem. It's a big problem. So you're going to have to teach him English. Can you be his English teacher? Because your English is fantastic. Um, you know, I will ask for some money for that. I think. You can ask for some money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the side. Yeah, yeah, because he will. I think I have to spend maybe three or four hours with him a day. Three or four hours a day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it that bad? Yeah, yeah, that bad. And you know when you teach someone a new language? Yeah. You always start with the swear words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but that's no problem for him because he <laughs> listens to rap to rap and stuff like that where swear words coming so up. So he's got those words? Yeah, he got those words, You're but the basics, finish. like the proper words, like, hey, Eden, how are you? He doesn't know how he to respond. He can't do that. that. No. Okay, he's going to be tricky to interview. Yeah. So we're going to, you work on it and then we're going to interview him. That's no problem. We'll let you know how you get on. Okay. But it's nice because there's a mix of you and there's a few younger players in there. And it's nice to see how you're all mixing the, the old players, the young players, everyone together. Yeah, sure. You know, I have the... You know, that's a good thing for the club as well. Yep. You know, that the young players of the academy are coming through and training with the first team. You know, there's something uh, that's really good for Chelsea because especially after last year when the, the under 80s won the FA Youth Cup and some know, players yeah. of the Brilliant. team are here, you know, it's very good for them. And it's also a reward for them. I think they, I hope they are doing well for the rest of the preseason. And maybe they can be an additional thing for the squad. Now okay. our next stop is New York. And I mm -hmm. think the exciting thing is that we're playing in the Yankee Stadium and this is the first soccer match in that <laughs> stadium. I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool, you know. Yankee Stadium, baseball stadium. I don't think there were people would be used to it to see a soccer weird, game. Right? Yeah, it would be very weird. But are you baseball? Do you American sports? Are you, are you up there? Um, NBA, basketball. You're in basketball? Basketball, really. Okay. I'm really into it. Now, we are here to answer some questions from people who have written in on Facebook. You have. Facebook page, am yeah. I right in thinking that? Yeah. Tell me about it. I mean, do you like, I, I'm a bit scared of social media, so, <laughs> so how are you on that? Is that good? Um, you know, sometimes I think once every three or four months, I just post a video of two minutes and I ask, really? yeah, and ask how the fans are and stuff like that. And I wish them the best for in their, in their lives and stuff like that. And, uh, you know. So hang on, you're actually posting video. I mean, that's a serious Yeah, sometimes I really I post videos. It just, it doesn't cost that much time, you know. It's just like you, I write some words down and then I start thinking and then for two minutes I just say like, hey, how are you guys? I'm having a good time with my friends, blah, blah, blah. And then it goes and then I don't talk anymore. I'm also available for online teaching, English teaching lessons. Oh yeah, but it will cost 100 quid for one hour. You're quite an expensive teacher. <laughs> right, let's get to some of these questions. And we've got Alberto Cecinello mm -hmm. says, Lukaku, is this your first experience of America? Yes. Okay. My first one. And you're loving it? I love it. Then. You're going to see a lot of America. <laughs> Hopefully. 
And Nicholas Mev, who are your role models when you were growing up? Which players did you look up to and want to be like? Um, Anelka, Drogba and uh, Thierry Henry. We had, <laughs> when people knew that you were going to be on this, the amount of questions about you and Didier Drogba that yeah. came up were amazing. And he's someone that you said, look, I admire the guy. This is someone I, I looked up to. And I'd love to be like Didier Drogba. Yeah, really. You know, I would really love to be like him. Um, but still, sometimes I really want to make my own path because I was looking up at Didier. I was looking up like Didier, Didier was my hero. Yeah. At first, when I started playing football, then my dad was still playing in Belgium. So before okay. it was my dad and then when I was 11, 10 years old, 10, 11 years old, I saw Didier and I said, hey, I play, I, I play like he does. And then it's like, you really to see, and then Analka and stuff like that, really, Thierry Henry at Arsenal back in the days. For me, they were world-class strikers. But then at the end, myself, I want to be also a striker where the young kids are looking up to, so. Of course. Now, you mentioned Thierry Henry. We're heading to Philadelphia after New York to play yeah. the MLS All-Stars. A lot of people out there going, oh, it's David Beckham. There's also Thierry Henry. What's that going to be like for you if you were on the field at yeah. the same time as a guy that you've looked up to as you were growing up? Yeah, for the first five minutes, I would really like, pinch myself and be like, You've oh, got to focus though. Yeah. We can't have you just no, missing. No, no, no. Because, because uh, you know, in the first minute, you can score a goal. <laughs> we saw it last time. So <laughs> maybe before the game, I would be looking at him as like, wow, Thierry Henry is standing next to me and stuff like that. But then when the whistle blows, it's like, Let's get this win and do the best for the team. Are you going to ask him if you can have his shirt? Because how does that work? Do you ask people before or at the end? You know when you swap shirts sometimes? Um, I always ask at, at the end of the game. So you but have to make sure you're standing near him yeah. at the end of the game. That's going to be something quite difficult to sort of orchestrate. Yeah, yeah, it depends. If, some <laughs> big, if other players are running at him, I just leave it and I will just have a talk. Having a chat also with a player for me is good as well, having okay. a picture. That's nice. You know, you don't have always to have the shirt and go like running at him. Hey, can I have your shirt? Because <laughs> sometimes, you know, you want players to have your shirt. So. Yes, but you can give him your shirt. You can if say, you Thierry, it. this is a gift from me to you. If you want it, it will be, it. I'll be pleased if you want it. <laughs> now, we've spoken to Mikel on our Facebook chat as well. Another question that came in when they knew that both of you would be speaking to us is, who is the stronger out of the two, you or Mikel? Mikel who? I think he, I think he plays for Chelsea, sometimes the midfield area. No he's, argument, he's right. no argument, <laughs> no argument, really, no argument. It's you, it's him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can even <laughs> catch it on tape. If you training session of tomorrow, okay. you can even catch it on tape. We're going to film that. Yeah. yeah. And I have to, you know when the Seattle Seahawks yeah. came down to the training and you were having a little go, I thought you were very good, by the way. There was, um, I was speaking to someone who works there, yeah. and they said, who is that guy? And I said, it's Romelu Lukaku. And they said, they said, can we have him? They said, can we swap him? Can we give you one of our Seahawks? <laughs> and, and can we take Romelu Lukaku? I said, well, I said no, by the way. Yeah. But, you you well, you well. No, no, no. What no. about American football? Is no, that? No, 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 no. Sometimes it's just like throw, but like football is my game. Soccer, sorry, soccer is my game. Soccer is your game out here. Yeah. Okay, so next stop for us, New York. Mm -hmm. You must be very excited to go to New York for the first time. A fabulous place. Yeah, fabulous place. You know, first time in the US, first time in New York, first time yeah. Seattle, first time everything. Amazing. Amazing. It's gonna be a good trip for you. Yeah, good and hopefully trip. a good season ahead of that. Yeah, 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 if I work good and if we have a good couple of games yep. and myself as well, good season. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for answering the questions. Welcome. You've been watching Chelsea's Facebook chat with Romelu Lukaku. Again, thank you so much for submitting your questions and we'll speak to you again soon.